Welcome back everybody. This is video number 12. And in this video, we are going to take a look at local variables and global variables. Well, what's the difference? Let's go ahead and find out. So here in my terminal, in my text editor, I've already started writing a function. And basically that's going to be the foundation that's required for an understanding here. In the previous video, I gave you the basics of functions. I also let you know in that video that we are going to be doing more advanced things in functions later on. And that's not this video though, even though this video utilizes functions, this isn't a function video, but learning the difference, the difference between local variables and global variables goes hand in hand with functions because that's where the difference lies. Are you confused yet? It's actually quite simple. So I'm going to go ahead and write a simple program. I'm going to type it out and then I will be right back. All right, so I have a sample program right here, and I'm gonna warn you it'll fail. So don't worry about executing this. I'm basically just going to go through this program here, and I'm going to explain to you what it does, and then I'll explain to you why it's going to fail. So first of all, we are defining a function. So to do so, we use def, and then we use the name of the function that we want to create. We have to use the parentheses here, which the parentheses will come into play in a later video. So don't worry about why those are required just yet. And then we give it a colon. This uh, line of text right here, these two lines of text are basically a, a doc string, which we have already gone over, which is just a form of a comment. The uh, it starts with three quotes, ends with three quotes, and Python knows to ignore that. So it's just basically a note to uh, document the code. The first statement that's actually going to be executed is this one. We create a variable named message, and we set it equal to hello everyone, and then we print message. Now next, we are outside of the function because the function, everything indented by spaces are part of this function definition. But here we're back at the beginning line here, my function, we're just calling that function. So what, by doing this, we're basically saying, hey Python, execute everything in this function. So basically it's just going to execute these two things right here. And then next, it's going to take the message variable that we declared earlier, which we set to hello everyone, and then it's going, it's going to print that. However, this is going to fail can you see the problem? It's okay if you don't notice it right away because at first glance, the code actually looks correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the file and then I'm going to send it to the background. Let's execute this and see what happens. Why will it fail? And we have a problem. Message is not defined. Well, what the heck is it talking about? We defined it right here. Well, actually, we defined it within the function it doesn't exist outside the scope of the function. So right here, when we go to print it, it doesn't exist in the scope. It exists inside the function. So that's why this part will work. And when it's called, it will also work. But then when we go to print it, we actually can't do that because it doesn't exist. And not only that, but Python basically doesn't even allow this anyway. We have two completely different variables with the same name. I mean, we have, we're referring to a variable here which doesn't even exist, but it's, even if it did exist, it's named the same as the variable right here, which is actually not good to have either, uh, and Python knows better. But to fix this, it's actually quite easy. We need to declare the first message, this one right here, as a global variable. So to fix this, we basically need to tell Python that the message variable that we are declaring right here is global. How do we do that? I'm gonna add a new line here in between the doc string and the part where we actually declare message. And I'm gonna type global message. We're setting up a variable called message and we are making it global. Here, we're again, we're just basically setting what that variable is equal to. But up here, we're basically saying, hey, Python, this is a global variable, so you know why don't you just go ahead and make that available everywhere. Let's see if this is any different now. And it is. It prints hello everyone twice. 
it prints it right here. And then we call the function. So it's calling this code right here when we execute it here. And then it's also printing the contents of message, which we have set to be global. So now we can refer to message anywhere, even outside of the function where the variable message was declared. Now, variables and scope go into a you know a higher level than this. Everything in Python, you know, we start at a lower level. We build a basic understanding, and then it gets more complicated as we go along. So I don't want to overdo this video and basically confuse you guys because you know scope and variables. There's just so much to it. We're just going to leave it like this for now. I just want you to understand the difference between a variable in a global variable. A local variable specifically is a variable that's inside a function. And then a global variable is a variable that can be called even outside of a function. So that's really all you need to know right now. And then later on in this series, we're going to revisit functions and we're going to gain a deeper understanding and take that to the next level, especially when we start talking about object-oriented programming. And then we also start talking about classes. So, well, there you go. That's just a basic video on the difference between local variables and global variables. So um, with that said, that's the end of this video, but new videos in this series will be coming very soon. So stay tuned to my channel, guys. I will have those uploaded as soon as they're recorded and edited. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out my sponsor and my cloud server provider, Linode. Linode now features a new and improved dashboard, their cloud manager, that makes it an absolute breeze to set up your own Linux server. They even have Arch Linux, how cool is that? And of course they have all the staples such as CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, and more. And it's very easy to set up a server near you. In fact, Linode currently has nine worldwide data centers with two more set to appear this year in India and Canada. So definitely check them out, guys. I appreciate them as a sponsor. I appreciate you guys as a viewer. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I will have more content coming for you very soon. Stay tuned.